found this crazy little planner thing and in it I decided to kind of contribute and wrote a little happy message. I guess everyone comes up on this mountain and writes their uh, little kind of the day, time. You want to do a little message of your own? We got like yeah, a I'm pencil really... and everything there. We're in the middle of uh, Totori here in this nice hiking trail, uh, close by a lot of things. We're about a five minute bike ride from Justin's place here, so this is like the best place to live. I don't live here. Justin, what can you tell us about uh, Totori? Um, it is the least populated prefecture in the whole country. I live in the biggest city, uh, Totori City. And it has about, I think, approximately 200,000 people. If you like nature, you like getting out there, doing something uh, that is, I don't know, largely dependent on yourself. In the city, there's, only, you know, you don't have to really, you don't have to do much to have fun, but here, you make your own fun. And if you're down for hiking and working, you know, hiking up these trails, seeing beautiful nature, taking your cameras, taking pictures and videos, it's a really baller place to be because we've come I've come up this trail maybe five times in the past two weeks and I'm I'm not bored at all yeah it's just very it's different every time like check out how beautiful this place is I mean you can see this little surroundings here we're at the top of this little mountain area and and we're not even actually at the top that's what's so crazy is that like these signs that we have just beyond us um, like there are different ways you can keep going up this way and it uh and you can go on for i think like another two or three kilometers up this road just over here i will say um be careful yeah <laughs> um, because there's a sign at the bottom <laughs> yeah, we that, passed that says you. like be, you know be careful for bears so it's like a normal sign that's not a big deal but then uh on top of said sign there's like a laminated piece of paper that says there was a bear sighting like a couple months ago uh at like the time the date the location exactly so be careful there are bears out there what I really like about Tottori is how it kind of reminds me of my college town, Bellingham. Right behind the college campus, there's this nice hiking trail, and you know, going up the trails here really reminded me of that. Um, just kind of enjoying nature, slowing down, getting away from the city. And I think that's something really different about the people in Tottori compared to those in Osaka. They seem much more down to earth, less busy, on the go. And it's probably because there's not much to do here. Outside of the main station, we saw one shopping street and maybe one mall. So I noticed a lot of high school students, junior high school students, after school just going on a nice hike, enjoying the town. And it's also known for its seafood, and you can see a lot of nice things like this old English-looking house right behind the castle ruins. You mentioned the hiking trails, but uh, what else is there to do in Totori? So in Totori, I mean, there's a shit ton of hiking trails, um, but... <laughs> <laughs> Um, there are some baller sand dunes that you went to with us yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, from what I understand, they're, I think, either Japan's only or Japan's like largest sand dunes that yeah. that we have here. It's a huge tourist trap. Yeah, it is. And uh, Alex actually got to ride a camel. I did. It was amazing. See, I'm not a huge fan of uh, camels. and. I don't know. I, I I've ridden horses since I was young, so it's like it's Fair not enough. yeah, it's not that huge of a deal to me. But yeah, camels. Also, they do sand dune boarding, uh, we did which not try we, that. we didn't get to try. We didn't get to do. But in the future, I'm telling you, that's what I want to do. I want to go sandboarding. <laughs> Those hills were steep enough to where like if you tried walking down just one mislip and you'll like biff it and roll down. I actually just tried sliding down the hills just just for fun and it was super fun but getting back up was a uh, yeah it was a good workout if you're trying to train definitely go to the sand dunes and like run up a few times yeah no i'm not in nearly good enough shape to do that <laughs> nope not at all other than that mm -hmm. uh, i know that totoli prefecture has a lot of onsen so if you find yourself a particular fan of onsen there uh, there are a ton of cities that cater to that yeah or cities might be the wrong word more like towns towns and yeah. um there's also a very large mountain mount daisen Ooh. or daisen which is like i don't remember what it means big mountain big or mountain, mountain or something yeah um but <laughs> uh 
they do festivals there, and apparently they do a festival where uh, during the fall when the leaves changed, mm -hmm. they have a festival there that is supposed to be very good. Nice. So I would recommend yeah. coming here during after rainy season in the fall, fall. or I haven't experienced spring here, mm -hmm. but like most of Japan, I don't recommend the summer. <laughs> yeah, just don't um, do it. <laughs> and in Totori, I mean, what day is it right now? It is the 30th of December. Yeah. And it is currently 17 degrees Celsius, which is sitting around the 60 degree Fahrenheit mark. Yeah, about 60. Yeah. And it's comfortable. Um, so I would say don't come during this time, but I mean, honestly, if you can handle a little bit of rain, it's not terrible. Mm. Um, however, I think January, February, March, we get pounded with snow. Uh, I haven't gone yeah. through it yet, but I'm excited. I'm actually kind of bummed out that there was no snow because like I live in Osaka, so we have no snow. Yeah. So I've been just itching to like build a snowman for the last four years and sorry, man, it's not gonna happen. Yep. But oh well. We went back the next year and this time it was our winter vacation and my girlfriend is from the Philippines. So this was the first time she's ever seen snow. So when she wasn't freezing her butt off, it was actually quite nice change of pace for her very silent, the ambience of the snow, just how peaceful everything is. It's quite fantastic and it's a nice change pace for me since I've been in the city for the last four years. And if you're gonna visit Totori, one thing you have to check out is the Sand Art Museum. It is amazing. They get artists from all over the world to sculpt these fantastically detailed pieces of art and every year is a different theme this year was the Czech Republic so throughout the halls you could hear like uh, Franz Kafka's music and what was really interesting was how cold the room was uh, and I guess in order to keep the sand structures intact they had to uh, keep it at a low temperature otherwise it would fall apart so I was freezing my buns off and checking out this amazing art but it was a really good experience and although Totori doesn't have much in terms of like modern entertainment it's definitely a city filled with a lot of nice cultural pieces uh, there's even a, was a Detective Conan case closed a museum which is really cool and there are a bunch of different local cafes mom and pop shops that have a nice little touch to them so if you do check out Totori definitely give these a try So we're about to say Happy New Year's in Japanese for the, the next person who reads this diary. So, yoi o toshi. Toushi or toshi? Toshi. Yoi o toshi o o. So, yoi means good. O toshi just means kind of like year, but in an honorific way. And o is just like kind of like have. So, like have a new year, have a good new year. Happy New Year. So you say yoi o toshi o, like before New Year. What do you say at, right after? Like, like... Uh, you say shin nen omedeto. So shin is like new, mm. nen, year. So shin nen omedeto is like, hey, congratulations. Yeah. So happy New Year. So you can say uh, yoi o toshi o, like for like five and a half days, six yeah, days yeah. after Christmas, that you only get to use that phrase for like six days max. Yeah. If you're ever here in Japan for you know, Christmas, New Year's, Yoi otoshi o is for like what you want to say as casual greeting or goodbye. And then shinnen omedeto is like for the first day of the year and maybe a couple of days after. Yeah. You got a little history or Japanese lesson for you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this video was super overdue. Um, originally took it maybe two years ago and then following year took some video here and there. So my bad. Thank you, Justin, for helping me make this and link to your channel down below. Guys, please check it out. He has some good content. If you like the video, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.